Bryce Harvey, and this is my great outdoor life. We work in the oil field. We roust about, we fix pretty much everything that breaks in the oil fields that they call us to fix it. Yeah, you can actually tell a whole lot by feeling them. Make sure they're not hitting bottom. Just gonna check the pressure on the back side of the tubing. Everything seems to be operating right. We've bonded more over hunting than anything else and we work together every day and we bond quite a bit out here. I think it's really grown our relationship being able to spend days just where it's us two out fighting the elements. I started hunting with my dad when I was pretty young and then at about 15 broke off on my own when I could finally drive. My favorite memory is when I took my first deer when I was 12 years old. He was so small that he couldn't even carry the horns out. <laughs> year round we're planning on hunting or, or going hunting. I started the same time in life as Bryce did, around 12, and it was with my dad. And we actually have a grandson that's four now that we've had in the goose blind. It's not a hobby for us, it's a way of life for us. Not only is it a sport and, and time to spend time with the family and, and with friends, and then providing some very nutritious meat in the meantime, it's kind of a double bonus. I think if we sit at that tree and look at both fields, then we can see them coming out wherever they come out. Yeah. And you're yeah. still pretty good shot from anywhere. There's some good ones in there. Yeah. They'll probably be moving more after it warms up a little bit during the day too. Yeah. But they're definitely here. That's some heavy dark horns, isn't it? Yeah, big deer. Huh? That's a good deer. 200 in the tree. 180. It wasn't a good shot, he was cornered away pretty hard. That buck probably ain't gonna be back here tonight though. He'll come back. I think that will come back. Not while we're here. Maybe. I hunt mostly for the food. Me and my wife have never bought meat and we've been married for two years now and we always eat what we hunt. A lot of the meat comes from the deer that we harvest every year. This year I, I've ended up killing four and my wife took one and it provides a lot of meat for my family, my brother's family, some friends. The thing I love most about the outdoors is just seeing all the country. You walk over a hill and it's completely different from the last hill that you walked over. You never know what you're going to find. Just the opportunity and the, and the blessings that we have to experience this outdoors is just an amazing place to live. It's just something you can't explain about being outdoors and with family. There's not many other people I'd rather hunt with. It's something I wouldn't trade for the world. It's a lower field. I don't know if it'd be worth going back in, only seeing one buck, but... It was a good buck. Yeah. Usually it works out pretty well. We always seem to take more mature deer in the year. We've been very lucky and very blessed to get some of the animals that we have. If they're big, that's nice, but we're not going to pass up a mature deer to not put meat on the table. A little bit of luck and a smaller buck showed up. He's pretty respectable, so. to go ahead and take him. It is down, so we can make our way down there in about 200 yards. Uh, 
he humped up good. And then went about 60 yards maybe and did a couple spins and went down. No, there's nothing to compare with hunting. <laughs> God family hunting is my top three.